The next browser that we're going to take a look at is called the Object Browser, which you can bring out by clicking on this icon. Now, I don't remember seeing anything this functional in Studio before, so this is a real winner. And to demonstrate its usefulness, I have opened a flip chart, which is really a Jeopardy template. Basically what the Object Browser does is it shows you the three different layers, the top, middle, and bottom layers, and what objects, whether it be text or images, are, are oriented in those layers. So for instance, if we look over here, you can see how complex this page is. If I click on the triangle, that shows me that what's in the top layer. I can't quite see everything, so you should be able to hover and over until that icon changes, click, and drag, and then if you hover between the headers here, objects and hidden, you can click and drag, and you can see that there are things that were created with the pen tool and things that were created with the text tool, shape tool, etc. Now, if I click on any one of these, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, and you can just move down, and you can see what, what those objects are on your page. So what I can do now is I can click on the triangle and I can close that top layer so that I can view the objects and the text that are in the bottom layer or behind those dollar values. So I click on the top layer, open the middle layer, and take a look at those objects. Now, if I want to edit the text that's behind the dollar values, I simply need to find that piece of text by individually clicking on them or I might know where they are. So I'm going to click on this text 133. And if you look over at the right, there's a little box there. And if you click on that, you get the menu for the object browser. And in that menu, I have one option of being able to edit the text. So what I'm going to choose is edit text and then you'll notice underneath that $500 piece of text comes that which was laying on the middle layer. It's very easy to highlight it and put in some different piece of text. In this case I'm going to type in the answer per the way that Jeopardy is played. So this is for a cell unit and I'm going to then click on the white space on the page because when you click on the white space on the page, then the text that you just edited that's on the middle layer will go behind the top layer.